give it a twist. And so it's not super regular, but I don't really think I, I might tighten this side up a hair more like that. And then we should get a really, really cool pattern out of it. Just a quick preview here of what I use for my twist. So I have a standard pipe wrench. Uh, I just weld it on a little extension. Um, while that might seem trivial, what I found is when you're trying to control this to twist it and you're only holding the traditional part of the handle, uh, you slip and you move around and you just don't have a good bite on the hot metal. By adding this, I can pull in here and down on the bottom and control my twist. It makes all the difference. So if you have a wrench, don't mind well wasting it or, or welding onto it. Uh, it will make the difference. So have a good day. Okay, there's my it's about 150 layer billet, all twisted. You can bring it up to temp, put it back in the press, and kind of flatten it out and see what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is my final piece here. It's about, I don't know, 10 inches or 11 inches long maybe. Um, I ended up taking that piece I twisted and cut it into two six inch pieces uh, and then forge welded those back together. So I probably have a layer count up pushing 300 maybe with a double twist on it. So it uh, should make for a really uh, interesting knife. Uh, let it air cool here and then think about what I want to try to uh, make out of it. I don't think